want to give you a little intro. So I have y equals 2 times x minus 2 squared uh, plus 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to graph this in vertex form. So to do this, what we need to do is we have vertex form as y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And what we want to do is kind of understand again what the transformations are, the transformations. So I'm going to say a equals 2, h equals uh, positive 2, and k equals 5. Now, again, it might be a little bit confusing, again, why the h equals 2. But remember, it's x opposite of h. Well, this is x opposite of positive 2. So therefore, h equals 2. So now we know h equals 2. That means I'm going to be shifting my graph two units to the right. All right. k is going to be positive 5. That means I'm going to shift my graph five units up. And then 2, since a is 2, I'm not going to have a reflection. But now that what that's going to do is that's going to horizontally stretch my graph and kind of make it a little bit skinnier sometimes we look at. So when I want to apply these transformations, I look at my standard, uh, I look at my parent graph. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vertex, because that's the easiest point to transform. And I'm going to transform it two units to the right and five units up. So let's just go and create now a nice x and y axis, nice and beautiful like this. And if I know my original parent graph starts at 0, 0, now I'm going to shift it over two units to the right and then five units up. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, for the parent graph, when, I have, when my a equals 1 and I'm not going to dilate my graph at all, I go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1 over 2, up 4, over 2, up 4. But now I'm multiplying that by 2. So instead of going over 1, up 1, now I'm going to go over 1, up 1. And then that 1 is being multiplied by 2. So I'm going to go over 1, up 2. So what I can do is say over 1, up 2, because I'm now multiplying it by 2, over 1, up 2. Now, the next set of points would be over 2, instead of going up 4, I'm going to multiply 4 by 2, which would be now over 2, up 8. Now, my graph is kind of getting a little bit up into my equation. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm just going to graph it from here. But you can automatically kind of see that this graph is skinnier than this parent graph, even though uh, my scale is not exactly the same. But let's go and see what changed now with my axis of symmetry and so forth. And that's supposed to be over 2. Okay. So we now know my vertex, which is really cool about vertex form, is you can see my vertex is h comma k. All right. So now my vertex is 2 comma 5. My axis of symmetry for the parent graph, the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Well, since I shifted my graph over 2 units, we have our vertical line is now x equals 2. Our y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. And you can see that's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0, 7. And my x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And you can see that since my graph has a vertex that's above the x-axis, and my m behavior is now going all up, it's never going to cross the x-axis. So I'm just going to write none. And that's how you graph in vertex forms with multiple transformations. Thanks.